Nick Snyder, Dustin Daly, what's going on? I'm very curious. Yes, this is old tea, but it's piping hot for me. Yes, there's always three sides to the story. Wait. Because it's the juice. And if you don't have the juice, you don't have it. So if you don't have the juice, you can't capitalize. Fill the room with the juice. That's a lot of loot. That bit fire. Yes, she coming. The time has come to see what is going on with Nick Snyder, Dustin, and Jen. Thank you so much for linking a video that you felt was pretty good. We'll take it. We'll take it over here. Okay, it's about 15 minutes long. It's not that bad. I really should have filmed yesterday, but you guys, before we hop in, this book has me in a chokehold. This book right here, and I might be late to the party. Okay, so if you have read this book, please let me know down below. If you haven't read this book, please go get it. If you don't want to go get it, get on YouTube and listen to the audiobook because I am on chapter 46, and the way I was going to watch Fool Me Once on Netflix yesterday, and I couldn't even watch it because this book had me in a choke hold i literally thought i was a wwe wrestler i couldn't believe it's just like it keeps just twisting and and, and and the spinning and i'm just like what is going on in this book it's so good it's so good but if you're brand new here hello my name is pearl and on this channel we do commentary reactions we talk about astrology sometimes we talk about books we just be chilling and having a good time so go ahead and go get you a snack now let's hop back into this book because i'm really not done if you have a mental illness, trigger warning, okay? I obviously do very open about that here. So I'm listening to this book in absolute disbelief, in absolute disbelief, okay? I just, wow. And I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. I could go in and say little details here and there of, of what, you know, is, of what is really going on in this book, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it because it's that good. I'm literally shook over here and I can't wait until I'm editing so I could be listening to this book while I'm editing, which is actually gonna be hard now that I think about it. So I don't know why I just said that, but I'm gonna try. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop in here and see what the heck is going on. Again, I really appreciate you letting us know about this channel because it's a smaller channel. We love uplifting smaller channels. I myself started my YouTube channel with an iPhone. Okay, so I remember the days of the 500 subscribers. Actually, no, I think I started posting consistently at like over 700 subscribers. So I wasn't really, I would just post like once a year, like very sporadic, but, but I have had this channel since 2011. With that being said, Nick Snyder, Dustin Daly, what's going on? I'm very curious. Yes, this is old tea, but it's piping hot for me because I'm, I'm just so confused. It's so interesting to me how YouTubers can even like get together and live together and even film together. Like obviously like collabing isn't that big of a deal. A lot of YouTubers do that, but I don't know when you get close to people and you're working with them, let's just say corporate, right? Let's just say that nine to five, hell McDonald's, whatever. And you get close to people, it definitely creates a dynamic, especially if there are issues, right? Even if you get close to your boss and then you guys get in a fight and then you gotta go to work the next day. I mean, even though YouTube is different, it's kind of like that, you know what I mean? It just, it just, it can get a little icky. So let's see what's going on, a brief synopsis of what the heck happened because the way I was trying to keep up and I was so confused, I was like, what is going on here? Is everyone safe? Cause it was seeming as if it needed to involve the police, right? Like it was getting very like, are you okay? And at the time, I don't believe I was in Texas at the time, but I know that they were living in Texas. So I was just thinking like, are they okay? Like, do we need to like collectively get them in a space where they're safe? It, it just, again, I will ramble on forever. So let's hop in here because I'm genuinely so curious to know. And also Nick Snyder and Dustin Daly are still friends, right? I believe they're still friends. At least I'm assuming. Okay. Yes, there's always three sides to the story. Wait, let me read the whole thing. This is a simple breakdown of what's going on and not every piece of information is available. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> the video is about the claims made between the people involved and not a deep dive to uncover the truth. Okay, as I don't know it because I was not there. Right, and honestly, who's to really know? Because you can make things look like all kinds of different things, especially on a YouTube platform, TikTok, Instagram, like we talk about this, right? You can make your life look like it's just great. When in reality, we all hated 2023, but yet, you know, so many people tried to make it seem like, you know, they loved it, you know? And if you did, if you did, and you had a great one, you know, kudos to you, all right? The, the God was on your side because I don't know what the heck that year was, but Lord Jesus, <sighs> it's over, Pearl, it's over, okay, it's over, <laughs> let's continue. Brief mentions of DV and animal 
What? Sometimes adults just end up not getting along, and that is perfectly True. fine and even healthy. Right. Friendships can fail over time, and the mature yeah. and rational thing to do is just to part ways amicably mm-hmm. and live your lives mm-hmm. the best you can apart. There's nothing wrong with remembering the fun times and positive experiences you had with someone that you're Facts. no longer friends with. Facts. It's all part of life to experience love in a variety of ways, and to experience loss in just as many ways, and learning to cope with those losses. Sometimes, though, friendships just don't end on the best of terms, and worse yet, mm-hmm. sometimes the people involved in those friendships can't just let the relationship dissolve in a healthy and natural way. Ain't that the truth. Which is actually what we're currently seeing in regards to Jen Gerard from Gerard Cosmetics and her horribly messy friendship breakup with Dustin Daly and Nick Snyder. Mm. Hey there, I'm here to interrupt your regularly scheduled entertainment. Huh. If you, the viewer, are actively involved with this situation, just remember, I am a literal internet nobody. <laughs> and I have absolutely zero skin in the scam in regards to any of this. No, no. I'm putting this tiny disclaimer here because apparently some involved parties are reaching out to people to make threats or setting the story straight. Really? I honestly don't give a fuck. I'm here just to restate the information publicly made available through Twitter and literally nothing else. If you want to set the record straight, Threats. do it amongst yourselves like rational, mature, grown-ass adults and leave uninvolved bystanders is it, is it that net? So if you're like me, lurking about on Twitter, minding your own business, uh, being really nosy actually, you might have seen some pretty concerning posts from Jen Gerard, Nick Snyder, Dustin Daly, and even Paige Christie floating around in regards to a very drastic falling oh, out with our man named Charles. Say Paige made a lot some of the videos people have been uh, pretty biased, confused about apparently. what exactly happened and what's pretty ongoing actually, and I've been really nosy like I said, so I'm going to give like a rough okay. rundown based upon the information available from the afflicted parties on Twitter. Now, I do know and understand that there's more screenshots on Reddit and, like, a whole, like, Is other that? scenario going on on Reddit, but, like, I'm not trying to give an entire play-by-play, step-by-step of everything that's happening because okay. we've been here for, like, over an hour and I've already made an hour-long video, so I'm kind of whooped on that part. Yeah. But, um, more or less, I just want to do a quick, like, too-long-didn't-read kind of video for people who just want to know the basics of what's going on. Yes. So this all appears to have started when Jen Gerard met a man through a dating app. I've seen it was supposedly Tinder, but honestly, all dating apps to me are quote-unquote Tinder because I'm married and I don't fucking use dating apps. Uh, and that man was someone named Charles. According to the tweets I've been seeing floating around, well, Charles have... claimed to be a CEO of some major company, like a bank or something. With this man claiming to be some kind of multi-millionaire, this immediately set up flags and alarm bells for Nick Snyder and Dustin Daly. What a Nick man claiming say? to be some kind of multi-millionaire. This immediately set off red flags and alarm bells for Nick Snyder and Dustin Daly bank or something. What? If y'all are wondering why there was initial concern over the man lying to Jen, Jen out her own mouth told numerous people that this man was the C- the CEO. Oh, you can't be saying stuff like that unless that's absolute facts. Because you know that's easy LinkedIn check right there. You know what I mean? That's it's damn near public knowledge, you know what I mean? It's public information. Wait, anyways, yet there's no documentation online linking him to any of his companies. I will say this. There have been people that have gotten married on Tinder. I don't know how, but, you know, I, I, just, I don't know how. I, I, I just, I, I'm very much just not a Tinder person. I was on Tinder, like, years and years, like, if not six years ago, five years ago. Like, I can't imagine being on tinder now because it's just so known for not relationships you know but i'm a hinge girl i'm a hinge girl okay i double and bumble well obviously not anymore but when i was single i'm not single anymore but when i was single you know i was i was a hinge girly with this man claiming to be some kind of multi-millionaire this immediately set off red flags and alarm bells for really? Nick Snyder and Dustin Daly as the things that but they were saying about this man like in real life was not adding up in comparison to the things that this man was saying about himself the two of them advised Jen to look more into this man because he seemed suspicious and they were concerned for her overall like long-term safety they had even offered to help her look into this man to verify or disprove his claims and to ensure he wasn't a danger to her her friends I told them I did not care about running the background check I wanted to be okay I will say this okay even though that they are trying to be good friends to see what's going on. I saw a TikTok the other day and it was about basically not stepping into your friends' relationships, right? Because love, let's talk about love as as if it's a drug, right? Because I mean, oxytocin, right? I mean, technically you do feel a little, you know, delulu when you're in love and things are blinded. And it was this girl just talking about how, I don't care how long I've known you. I don't care if you're married. If I don't know that man personally, I'm not going to even say my opinion. I'll say my opinion one time 
one time. And if you don't take my opinion in consideration, I do not care if uh, they burn your house down. I do not care if they do something to your children because you pick that person and no matter what I said, doesn't matter because ultimately we are not having sex, but you're having sex with this person. Therefore, the intimacy is on a different level that I cannot compete with as a friend, right? Now, not everyone agrees with that, but I just found it to be really interesting because there are some people that will come into your relationship and, you know, try to ruffle some feathers a little bit and not to not to be mean or anything like that, but because they're concerned, you know, and, and, and to each their own, you know, humans are going to be concerned. So it, it makes sense or her family. Well, at first, it seemed that she was fine with their help looking into him. She soon turned this into claims of Nick and Dustin being controlling and trying to isolate her and dictate who she was allowed to date and be friends with. This Despite not dating this person for like a little over two weeks, Jen began to like hardcore ride or die for this man and claimed she had tons and tons of proof that Nick and Dustin were trying to manipulate her, ruin her relationships, and that they had been doing this kind of stuff for a long time. With her apparent drastic shift in behavior, one might wonder what exactly did Nick and Dustin and possibly even Jen herself uncover about the man that she was dating? Well, that would be some troubling information it seems, from the obvious that he was not in fact the CEO of some overseas bank, and if he ever did have some sort of role within a company, that company no longer exists for some reason. Additionally, they discovered court records regarding him Bye. that indicated that he needed to wear an ankle monitor for like six months or so for a DV charge of all things, and the court date for that charge is Whoa. Whoa. See, and this is the thing. This is the thing. It's like triangulation, right? So two people talking bad about somebody that you're with and then the other, the person that you're with is like, well, why would you have friends like that that don't want to see you happy, that are so involved with who I am in my past? It, well, shouldn't that be your issue and not mine? And then before you know it, it's just gaslighting all over the place and you're just in the middle getting them twist and turn and do I pick my friends? Do I pick the guy? Do I pick my friends? Do I pick the guy? And... It, <laughs> Any questionable background is obviously questionable, but it always goes back to, does the woman care? Because let's be honest, you there's a lot of men and women in prison, in jail, and do they get love letters? Do they get visits? They sure do. They sure do. So it's like, we're in mucky waters already right here. Already. And again, not to say that what they're doing is wrong, because they're concerned, but... I feel like there's a there's a boundary and there's a level of like how concerned can you be and it depends on your friendship level it depends on that person it depends how long have you known them you know how, how much do they trust you you know what I mean because before you know it, it can get twisted real quick it can get it you know it could be like a, a couple fighting your friends trying to help and then you make up with 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 your person after the fight and then your friends over here like no like you need to stop and it's like Stop trying to ruin my life. I love this person. You know, and then before you know it, you've fallen out with your friend. You know what I mean? Like there's boundaries, there's levels to it. Still pending for 2024. And there's also apparently a book that Nick made available or Nick found or something of this man scamming people out of their money since the 1990s, which is a very That's long crazy. time. That's crazy, 1997? Now, of course, all of this is alleged, right? So don't like come after me for spreading uh, this alleged information i'm screaming but with all of this information about this man coming to light for the trio instead of approaching with caution as you would expect jen continued to be on this man's side through everything and that led nick and dustin voicing concerns for their own well-being while charles was present and even later knowing that there was a possibility of him coming over during the night what appears to have been like the straw that broke the camel's back so to say through everything is that nick and dustin hosted an intervention for jen's behavior while dating charles and when that intervention failed nick and dustin moved out of the house that they shared with jen and left the state of texas voicing that they did not feel safe being even in the same state as jen's boyfriend which almost like leads you to wonder like what exactly has been Holding, like, right behind the scenes like is he violent face -to -face, too that this kind of like hey i feel like my life is threatened i have to leave right now kind of situation going on but right. again i'm a bystander in this i'm nosy but i'm not so nosy that i'm gonna ask and this could have been like the <laughs> end of the situation ask. you know nick and dustin leaving and jen you know going off to frolic and feel the flowers with her new boo um simple declarations of hope it all works out um but we didn't feel safe so we left and everything will be fine good luck with your life obviously that's not where this tale ends soon after you know nick and dustin moved out of the state or were moving in the process of moving or whatever mm -hmm. uh jen began to post on twitter and reddit claims about them being just severely awful people to live with chiming in that they were the ones that were controlling her life and that she was suspicious of them manipulating her for a long time which hey again i have no skin in this game maybe that could be true but as we'll see later there's some screenshots that might contradict that jen began to throw out like literally every kind of accusation that could be thrown from them not paying their rent or bills and wasting their money on food so i will say this if you're not friends with somebody anymore because you decided to pick that relationship over the friendship, this part isn't necessarily needed. You can just go ahead and be quiet and, you know, be in your lovey-dovey world. But at the same time, because they're all YouTubers, it makes things a little bit different, right? So let's separate the YouTuber part. Let's say that they didn't have any platforms. Who would she be telling that they didn't pay rent? Da 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 da. They were horrible. They were dirty. Blah blah blah. Wouldn't that be like maybe 
the, uh, like her close friends, maybe, maybe her family, you know what I mean? Like just to take it out of their context, right? Put it into like somebody that you know, right? So your friend is now telling you like, oh my gosh, yeah, we're not friends anymore. And I just like love the guy I'm with now. And uh, anyways, it's just crazy how I just know they manipulated me because they didn't want to pay rent and they were super dirty. You know what I'm saying? So they would be saying that or that person would be saying that to like a, a like a party, not necessarily online. So it, it's, it's really interesting because is it is it about the defaming? Is it about the the reputation? It's about the character, the character, the morality that she feels is being attacked on her end. But really, it didn't even have to be like that. It really didn't have to be like that. Because who is this Charles character, right? Like, at the end of the day, this is like a, a bystander in the world of this YouTube corner, you know what I'm saying? Food deliveries. She accused them of leaving the house a mess when they moved and letting their dogs piss and shit all over the place. She made claims that Nick was abusing Dustin and that Nick was snorting drugs in the bathroom. The claim in regards to Nick doing drugs in the bathroom is especially troubling as there was evidently cameras within the bathroom, which is really fucking creepy. That's and that is weird. how Jen allegedly caught Nick doing the drugs. Nick, however, posted a video, a literal video that I sat and watched for some fucking reason, of him taking <gasps> a urine drug test with no cuts, just dick out, pissing in a cup. To really? Just that he was snorting anything and that the claims were acted to hurt him since he's in recovery. Charles also threw around claims despite not knowing, you know, any of these people really for any real considerable amount of time. Pause. Right? Charles also to disprove that he was snorting anything and that the claims were just attacked to hurt him since he's in recovery. Charles also threw around claims despite not knowing. Can't you just do one of those like piss? What, what is it? Like the juice, the detox, the detox, the, the detox. Can you just do one of the detoxes and then take the test and then just be like, yeah, see, look, I'm clean. I feel like doing the test doesn't prove anything at all. I mean, like, obviously I understand why Nick did it, but I don't think that like was needed. If anything, it's just like, why would you put cameras in the bathroom? That was, that's where I would be. That's where I would, why would you put cameras in the bathroom? Why does my privacy not matter? Why, like, and, and, and if it's true, go ahead and leak it. Go ahead and leak it. And if it's not true, go ahead and leak it. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, that just shows who you actually are as a friend. See what I'm saying here? Because now at this point, it's like, you want to out me to the point where you want to get me into trouble legally. And then you want to kind of like come for my character in the, in the notion of like me doing drugs, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, ain't nobody was talking about you, Jen. We were talking about your man and we were just trying to protect you right and we probably did it in a way that was a little overbearing and i apologize i probably shouldn't have done it that way but i'm doing this because i care about you like you see how this could have just really went a different way like i feel like it didn't need to go in this direction again i see why i did trust me i see why i did but if, if this is just the basis it could it easily could have been something that was just offline could have been discussed you know in, in a completely completely different way but again this is me thinking regular, normal people, not YouTubers. Completely different situation. You know, any of these people really for any real considerable amount of time. Echoing similar right, claims that Jeff was making. And oddly enough, he also began to reach out to drama related YouTube channels to get his side of the story out there, which um, it's a really weird little cloud chasing maybe. Going back just um, weird to in the general. camera situation for a second. Why do you care Charles that much? also threw out an accusation about Nick and Dustin using a camera, but this camera was within Jen's bedroom to supposedly spy on her and that it was such a huge crime to do this and there's an expectation of privacy. What? But, um... I Why would you want to do that on either end? That's where I'm at. On either end, I don't really care who did what. On either end, why would you want to put a camera somewhere to watch? Like, that is one of my biggest things when I'm in an Airbnb, even a hotel. I'd be looking around just thinking, like, is there some weird thing watching me right now that I'm not aware of and it just freak it just freaks me out because you just really never know but my thing is if you know the person what what's the what's the what's the purpose and then on top of that let's be honest like you're just in your room whatever maybe you're doing things you know what I mean down there or you're going to the bathroom I don't know you're drinking it could be anything you're just sleeping but then the person that has the the camera has to sit there and watch and like wait until something happens that's like juicy? Who has the time? I'm sorry. I'm I think sorry. it's a drastic double standard because I would think that there is much more expectation of privacy Bored. in the shutter. Another Bored. argument when it comes to Charles is that he began to follow Nick and Dustin's friends on social media and even began to throw out accusations against them, who for the most part were pretty uninvolved besides like the before mentioned like intervention for Jen's behavior. Specifically, I saw that he was doing so to Paige Christie and her husband. 
regardless of the claims that these people are sledding around, a lot of it boiled down to one side making a claim and the other side going, uh uh But from what I'm Nuh-uh. seeing, because mostly mm-hmm. just on Twitter, so I could be completely wrong about this, um, but from what I'm seeing, only Nick and Dustin, Nick for the most part, um, and those affiliated with them and their quote-unquote side, have really been supplying any sort of proof of the claims being false or exaggerated. With the back and forth claims between Nick, Dustin, Jen, people affiliated with Jen's store brand, Gerard Cosmetics, um, have began to request their affiliate codes be discontinued, because who the fuck wants to be involved with this kind of like meltdown drama, and for photos not to be used on the store's website any longer. Paige Christie is one of the pretty vocal people here, um, who had made a takedown request in regards to a photo on Jen's website. Specifically, the photo was one of her deceased relative. Despite this being a literal two-second thing to do, seeing as the deceased relative has no stakes in this friendship turmoil and cannot advocate for herself, instead of doing the morally correct, kind-hearted, rational thing to do and just take the fucking picture down, according to Paige, Jen opted instead to deny that request. She stated in a message to Paige that she had permission to use the photos forever, and that the legal estate holder for the relative would need to reach out regarding the takedown notice, which is just such a fucking dick move, dude. Mm. Paige has no. also stated that Jen has sent her lawyers after Paige's mother, who is the legal estate uh. holder for the deceased relative, presumably as a scare tactic to get the Christie family to leave her alone. Is it that I serious? Like, uh, Paige mentioned that her mom is a fucking badass, apparently, and is not going to take no for an answer during this, so good on her. And it was at that no point, problem. regarding like the simple and humane request of just removing these photos of a lost loved one uh, being fought over that my opinion on this situation really really changed originally my viewpoint was simply that these three main individuals of the situation jen dustin and nick they were all just kind of having a personal issue amongst themselves that could very well have been solved or at least dealt with entirely offline and that in time each of them could have cooled off and that's just what kind of, like, i'm saying and exist in the same online space together again even if they were no sense. friends but with how Jen has opted to treat Paige and her family is actually fairly vile in my opinion. Seeing as Paige and her family did not have like, like I said, any stakes within this turmoil besides being concerned over Jen's safety. I'm trying to, she is friends with Nick and I'm trying to figure out why she went that route. For what reason? For what reason? Like if you are really happy and you don't care and you're going to pick your man, will you go have sex with your man and, and sit the hell down? Who has time for, I'm so. <sighs> I'm sorry. Am I being insensitive? I, I don't know. I just, I feel like if you're in love and you, and you, you know, you're with your person, like, why would this be even something that you're like, well, I'm going to do this now. It's just like, like, is it really worth all of that? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Dustin, the fact that since Paige has requested that the photos of Something else wants to happen because that's the not cosmetic site, Jen's boyfriend it. had began to like target Paige and her husband for literal nonsense that he knows absolutely nothing about and it's pretty alarming Which is a, actually that's another Luckily, red flag that's in the scary UK, so i don't really feel like her physical well-being is in much danger nah. uh, but it is really She's odd straight. behavior for this man to target her and other people formally or even still associating with jen seeing this as a bystander despite how jen claims he is very sweet to her personally this looks like he is trying to isolate her by causing immense harm to her reputation as an influencer and brand owner bingo when i first started seeing all these posts come out on twitter about this falling out like i said in the beginning of the video i was pretty neutral to both sides as people can just become pretty heated and it's not uncommon for some foul shit to be flung around while the friendship is falling apart but now yeah. seeing that this charles person is attempting to get his name out there while contacting drama channels and ruining jen's brand integrity and things are starting what? to look even more suspicious about him specifically yeah now jen claims that people have been warning her about dustin and nick for being controlling of her for a while now but who are those people on twitter several people can exactly and my thing is I wish my man would. If you don't go sit down somewhere and go get a regular job, you don't need to be off in this YouTube stuff. You don't know, you don't know about this over here, okay? As much as we chit chat and we talk about these corners of YouTube, regular people don't know these people. Regular people have no idea about T channels and, and drama channels. Like they're lost. Like you think the you think a regular person is just walking around knowing about foodie beauty? Go go around and 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 ask some ask just some random people. Do you know who foodie beauty is? Ask somebody who who is is in in a STEM field, for example. You do you know who Foodie Booty is? They're gonna look at you like you're out your damn mind. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just like don't be in this if you're if you don't know about this because it's just, it's just not needed and it's just creating more turmoil that really doesn't even need to be here. Can be referenced and feeling worried like for Jen's safety in regards to Charles, but I haven't really seen any people come forward about the opposites in regards to Nick and Dustin being manipulative towards Jen. What happens? I don't even see the manipulation more really. and alienate more people away from herself. At least in this, what I don't know. When the Charles spreads details. rumors about someone with more influence than Jen. What happens when her business slowly begins to crumble apart due to the ongoing back and forth between these friends and newly scorned third parties? As a bystander, this all is just really sad to see unfold because it quickly looks. And that right there is why I feel like Jen should have just not even said anything, not even cared, because like aren't like you're the known business owner, and not to say like they ain't doing anything, you know, because obviously they're big channels too, but. Jen is different. She's like in cosmetics and like people know her, you know, because of her makeup line and she's been involved with like Jaclyn Hill and like all of that to you from like, you know, so it's like, girl, 
just focus on your business, get some more, you know, YouTubers that are bigger than them maybe and collaborate in that way. But you don't like you didn't you do not need to bring this petty stuff on a platform when people especially people who don't really rock with you or know you on that level would see it as like, why is this CEO business owner that used to do this, that, and the third doing this, that, and the third now? You know what I mean? It's just not a good look. Looks like this is going to end with Jen's reputation in complete shambles. Yeah. Literally no one else to turn to but the because... stranger she met on a dating app. And that <laughs> is a cause for Stop. concern. Stop. It's dangerous. <laughs> and hopefully that pretty much catches everybody up with Stop. like the basics of what's going on between Jen Gerard, Nick Snyder, so and that's Dustin it. Lee. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That means a lot to me. This video. I got you. We will link you down below. Look, I'm going to end this video with this. If you know more details... Okay, if you have been down this rabbit hole to the point where you're like, oh no, you need to watch the hour long video. You need to watch the two hour stream that Nick did. Let me know down below. Let me know down below like what you think because this is very brief. And I'm trying to figure out, well, why? What's the point? Am I crazy for thinking that? What's the point? What was the point of all that? when you could have easily just been like, you know what, Nick, you know what, Dustin, I completely understand why you're concerned. And at this point in my life, you know, I'm interested in this person and I wanna be with them. And I'm sorry that that makes you uncomfortable, but that's just what I'm gonna do. And yeah, if things change in the future, then, you know, I'll talk with you when I'm not with this person and that's it. But bringing this to the forefront is weird. The whole thing is weird, very weird. And the whole like, you didn't pay rent thing. And then Nick and Dustin had like, proof that they did pay rent so then at that point it's like so 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 what are you talking about over there you know what i mean it's just it's very catty it's very petty it's <laughs> petty page it's very you know what i mean it's just and i don't understand why jen came prepared maybe that's a whole nother rabbit hole that i haven't divulged in. i have no idea anyways let me know your thoughts down below it's it's honestly very um yeah, that's sad to see as a bystander because what are you guys doing? What are you guys actually doing and why does it matter? I mean, I understand why it matters, obviously. Like, it's your friends and they're worried about you, but why put it online? That's what got me a little like. That's the only part that I can maybe see the other side. What is it that Nick and that Nick was manipulative and Dustin's manipulative? Okay, maybe it is bad that they put this online. I don't know who put it online first, but maybe they did it first, right? And that does look like, okay, well, I have this insider information with Jen, so I'm gonna out her because of the way she's treating me right now. Or then maybe she's he's in, her, uh, you know, his emotions. And so maybe that was something that, can be the other, you know, defense. But other than that, it's very much giving calm down. It's very much giving okay. It's very much giving enjoy your relationship. Bye. Thanks. Figure out what to do with your business now. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I, I really don't know. But let me know your thoughts down below. Also, let me know if you have read that damn book. Let me know if you've read it. Let me know if you're reading it because I am itching right now to get back and jump back into that book right now. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I will see y'all in the next one. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe because what was this? Goodbye. Because are they okay? I don't think they're okay. No, I don't. Is there more?